WebStorm 7 introduces support for the Karma Test Runner, so you can run and debug your test directly from inside the IDE and view the results in a nice format where you can see your red and green circles and then navigate to the results as you would expect. To get started with Karma and WebStorm, we'll need to generate the config files. So run karma init and we'll say karma conf.js. That's just the typical naming pattern. We'll use Jasmine, no require JS, Chrome, and we'll say our files, our tests are in this standard way of finding them. And no exclusions. Don't need to watch them on change. We'll change them within WebStorm. So now our config file is generated. And from here, you can simply right click on this config file, say create karma conf.js. You'll see this is finding your Karma installation, which could be local to your project if you installed it through Node. Hit OK and hit Run. You'll see that there are no tests, so nothing passed and nothing failed. If you'd rather use WebStorm to create this file in the future, simply open it up, hit Tools, Save File as Template, and then we'll hit Apply, OK. And then from now on, you can just say New Karma Conf and that'll generate this new one for you. I'll go ahead and set up a spec uh, in that directory structure by just creating a new JavaScript file saying test, we'll just call it basic my spec. The first thing you'll notice here is that we don't have autocomplete for Jasmine unless you set it up manually. So I'll go into the preferences and go into the JavaScript libraries. And you can see I've set up a Karma Jasmine global library. The way you do this is just by going into add, you type in the name like Karma Jasmine, and then add the files or directories you want to attach. I attached the directory from uh, the Jasmine included with Karma, so it'll import this Jasmine file as you can see here. And then once you click this checkbox, or if you want to manage the scopes and just say, only apply autocomplete for Jasmine to the test directory. Then we'll hit apply, OK. And now you can see I'll have autocomplete for my suite. And then it uh, should be true. And then finally, we'll just say expect uh, true to be true. Then once we run our tests, now we should get the first test passed. But if you run into this issue of something caching or not seeing the results you expect, just go ahead and stop the Karma server and then run it again. And now you'll see it, it caught that the files changed and the directories changed. So we can see that it passed or you can make it fail, make it run again. You can see it failed. Now once WebStorm knows that this is a Jasmine spec, you can actually hit Control or Command N to generate a suite. So we'll just say suite name, generate a spec, spec name. We can generate a before each and an after each. And use those shortcuts to generate all the code for you. It's important to note that WebStorm also has a debugger built in, so you can put a breakpoint anywhere you want. Simply hit debug, and then a debug runner will launch. And once it hits that breakpoint, you can inspect that fragment and go into all the properties and see the entire object instead of just what's being passed into the test. And last but not least, from the results of the test, you can use it to navigate around by simply clicking or hitting enter. You can find how much time elapsed in each of the tests and sort the columns there, you know, sort alphabetically here, sort alphabetically there. There's a ton of options. And then lastly, you can actually export your results to an HTML page or XML and view your results in the browser to share with the team to see where any of the issues may be.